Today we're going to be talking about the basic tools that we use to measure different aspects of the weather. Before we get started, make sure you have your note sheet, make sure it's glued into your ISN, your Interactive Science Notebook, and make sure you're ready to take notes. Let's start off with an easy one, one of the most familiar. Um, when you measure temperature, you're going to be measuring it with a thermometer. So we measure temperature using a thermometer. We're measuring how hot or cold the air is. The air warms as the sun heats the ground, and then the ground warms the air. So we can think about some benchmarks. 32 degrees we know would be freezing, so it'd be very cold outside. 55 degrees would be cool, and 90 degrees would be very hot. So again, when we're looking at temperature, we're going to measure it using a thermometer. The next tool we're going to look at is one you might not be very familiar with. It's measuring air pressure, and the tool is called a barometer. So when we measure air pressure, we're going to use a barometer. The unit of measurement is called a millibar. So another word for air pressure is actually barometric pressure, which kind of goes along with barometer, okay, barometric barometer. Air pressure is actually the force or the weight of air pressing down on an area. So we always have air pressure. You may not feel the air pressing down on you, but it is always there and it's always pressing down on you. So a nice benchmark is to think about high pressure being greater than a thousand millibars and bad weather being low pressure under a thousand millibars. So if you start at a thousand sort of as your benchmark and you go higher and higher, the weather is going to get nicer and nicer. Remember, this is not telling us is it going to get hotter or colder. It's going to tell us if it's going to have a nice sunny day, no wind, no rain or if it's going to be a lousy day with low pressure, we're going to have storm clouds and rain and lots of wind. The next tool we're going to talk about is a hygrometer. We use a hygrometer to actually measure humidity. The word hygro actually means related to water. When we're measuring humidity, what we're really measuring is the amount of moisture in the air. And you might have heard about moisture in the air also being called water vapor. As water turns from a liquid to a gas, it goes into the air and it becomes humidity or water vapor. Again, let's look at some benchmarks. If we have 0% humidity, it would be very, very dry out. That means there would be very little to none water vapor in the air. If we had 100% humidity, it would be very, very wet. When we went outside, it would feel sticky and wet. It might even be rainy. The last basic tool we're going to talk about today is an anemometer. It actually measures wind speed. So as wind gets harder and harder and blows harder and harder, the speed picks up. And we measure that using an anemometer. Wind is actually the movement of air that's caused by differences in pressure. We talked about air pressure just a minute ago. We measured that with a barometer. Wind actually always blows from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. We know that the wind speed is increasing or decreasing by looking at how fast those little cups are spinning. The faster they spin, the higher the wind. So a good benchmark would be zero miles per hour it would be no wind at all. 150 means you've got hurricane wind speeds. You need to take shelter. Those are our basic weather tools that we use when we're trying to measure different aspects of our weather.